water signs welcome to your weekly energy reading for december 16th through the 22nd we're going to look at love life and advice for you for the week this is a new series i'm doing weekly energy readings for the element signs so let's see what we have for water signs cancer scorpio and pisces welcome in everybody welcome in weekly energy 16th through the 22nd water sign cancer scorpio pisces love life and advice for you for the coming week hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's doing well okay so what is the love energy for the coming week and we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so hmm, needing help with from uh friends so let's see and then we have past life relationship you have known each other before wow so maybe uh you know you need help here from friends to like set you guys up uh, go on a double date, uh, just maybe if you don't even know this person, but you like them from like afar, um, you know, asking somebody to in introduce the two of you. We're going to clarify all these energies with the tarot to see what's going on here. So this is a quick like 10 minute energy reading for the week ahead. So we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So if you're feeling like a strong connection to somebody and you just like know like oh this is my person then you may be right because <laughs> we got past life relationship there but let's see what this trust is about this is you know life here so it could be something different so we have fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in in, in the energy of love so something here you need to trust you need uh to let go of fear and just trust the process here with something so um we'll see what that's about so let's see what your advice is for the week ahead what your advice is for the week ahead for the water signs cancer scorpio and pisces if you're interested you can check the description box below that's i'm using social media i do readings on instagram um how to reach out for personal reading tons of stuff down there please feel free to check that out if you do thank you so let's see what your advice is for the coming week December 16th through the 22nd for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have solutions, Archangel Zachiel. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. So this is temperance energy. It's a major arcana. So some sort of solutions are successful, uh, Peaceful resolutions here and solutions. And on the bottom of the deck, we have nine of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So this is happiness and joy, wishes and dreams coming true. So your advice here is to uh, seek out um, peaceful resolutions, solutions. Um, if you feel like, you know, if I do this or that, that may, you know, maybe the solution to this. Or maybe I can resolve this in some way. It's telling you to do it because you will have wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy, fulfillment with the Nine of Cups energy. That's your energy uh, over here with the water energy. So let's see what this past life relationship and let your friends help you is about. I do ask uh, water signs if you like how I read. You can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified. I do all kind of readings for every sign every month so if you like what you see please do subscribe all right if you do thank you thank you thank you everybody for your support in any way whichever way you have supported all right past life relationship and let your friends help you what is that about for the water sign so we have the hierophant so this is a very committed energy <laughs> this is about morals this is about doing what's just and right this is structure this could be commitment marriage here the hierophant spirituality and faith and that could be that past life relationship like spirit telling you if you feel a connection with this person it's like how how do i know this i don't even know them or if it's a new relationship wow and then we have the chariot so moving forward very quickly here fast movement forward success victory balance a lot of drive ambition moving forward in the four swords so you know, this is the energy of healing, um, you know, taking a time out, taking a respite, you know, thinking, contemplating kind of energy. It's like, I have a connection with this person. I want to approach them, but I'm scared. I don't know 
how they feel. But I want this to move forward. I feel this divinely guided connection with them. It's like you want to move forward to them, but then you kind of retreat from them with the Four of Swords energy. So this could be let your friends help you. If you feel like you can't approach them, male, female, whoever's watching this, if you feel that deep soul connection, you don't know where it's coming from, but you just know it's there, let your friends help you, introduce you, set you up, go on a double date, uh, blind date, I don't know, whatever here. Find out more information from friends here to get the ball rolling with this person because I do feel like this is a soulmate energy here. Wow. All right, so let's see what this trust in fear is for you. And this, you know, doesn't only have to be for the coming week. I mean, this could be energy for the future moving forward. This is These are just the messages Spirit wants me to relay to you at this time moving forward. So what is this trust and fear about for the water signs? Five of Pentacles. So, you know, isolation, sadness, loneliness, hurt, fear, energy. So, yeah, trust. I feel like you're not trusting the process on something here. You're feeling isolated, isolated, sad, lonely, um, hurts about something. But the Eight of Wands, there's fiery, passionate action, communication, travel. Let's get one more. And the Four of Cups, again, with feeling bored and complacent. So I feel like, I feel like you're waiting for communication about something but you're fearing it's not gonna come in. You're feeling kind of bored and complacent. You, like, you're waiting while you're waiting, you're very bored and you're feeling sad and lonely and hurt. Like, I don't think this communication is ever gonna come in. It could be about this new person. We got the Five of Pentacles was um, first card out, which is, uh, could be about career. So maybe you're bored and complacent in your career right now and maybe you know you're waiting for um, a new job opportunity and you're fearing it's not going to come in and uh, you're not and this is just telling you uh, to trust to trust here so let's get one more one more so what will come of this what will come of this so with the four of pentacles of energy again so this is about stability stability ace of swords so truth clarity so some news will come in here. You'll have a new beginning based on truth and clarity. Successful new beginning here. Uh, you'll be able to cut away an energy here no longer serving you, whether it's a job you're at now that you just don't like, you're bored, you're complacent. Um, cutting away that energy no longer serving you. Brand new beginning based on truth and clarity. Um, so yeah. And you'll be much more stable moving forward with the Four of Pentacles energy. So some of you, I feel like that may be career or maybe waiting on uh, some news about money or something like that. Or it could be something else, however that resonates for you. Whatever you're waiting on news for, material, monetary, career, whatever, or it could be from a person or just news, I feel like that will be coming in. It'll be more successful and um, stable. So let's see what the solutions is here. So we have justice. So again, fair, balanced, uh, fair and balanced. Um, truthful communication again and balance you know getting what's just and right getting what's deserved to you so I feel like um, let's get another one here so we got the moon energy so that is cancer Pisces energy so that could be you know not seeing things clearly I don't know what to do here something may need a peaceful resolution solution um, about a, a subject or something here but I feel like if somebody makes the first move here and, you know, towards a peaceful resolution or a solution to a problem or a situation here, uh, it'll bring a fair and just outcome all around because wishes and dreams will come true. Though somebody may not see clearly how to do that with the moon energy, but let's get, um, and that can also be about the moon listening to your intuition about this. If you feel like it's the right thing to do, then do it. Six of Pentacles. So again, and I had said fair and balanced. So this is the fair and balanced energy. So whatever solution, whatever idea you have about bringing peace or a resolution or something here to a situation, whatever it is for you, do it because you get success, balance, fair, just energy. Listen to your intuition. If you feel it's right, do it because it'll bring peace, harmony, balance, and wishes and dreams, fulfillment coming true. So let's see what's on the bottom here. The page of wands. So this is good news coming in. So this could be this energy over here of waiting for good news to come in. And I feel like you will get that good news. Fiery, passionate energy. 
again, with the wishes and dreams coming true, with the Nine of Cups energy, and four wants stability again in the home life. Relationships, commitments here. Very committed, stable, grounded home life. The Emperor taking charge, taking the lead, taking control, moving forward. So, yep. So a lot of good energy here. Uh, water signs. So, wow. Well, good luck to you, water signs, and I hope to see you next week. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.